VTubers are cancelled. As firstly today, we check in with Hiragi Yu, showing off here what it takes to be a host VTuber in this day and age, and tweeting out controversial and cancelable is the new submissive and breedable, referring to a tweet trend, one of which was kicked off by Stella Luna, tweeting out, we're cancelling each other over VTuber takes today. Post your cancelable VTuber take. With this VTuber cancelling themselves with, I think VTubers VTubing should be an adult space. This can include content creation in general. The reason is because too many times I see both minors and adults faking their ages, and it's so easy to hide behind a model. I think in general, it's dangerous to both sides. And that was only one example, as today we're looking at 20 other replies and cancelling everyone. As next up, we check in with Emerson Key, a fox god of time, saying, stop saying people are clout chasing. That's literally the entire business. Care whether people are making good content or not, plus being or not. Oh yes, that's a canceling. And here we have Kiara at Little Nosferatu, indie English VTuber, saying streaming on Twitch every day for eight hours to zero viewers is not how you grow. And when VTubers ask for advice on what to do or express frustration, I hate when everyone just says, just keep going. Like I understand being positive, but that's not helpful and that's not how it works. Oh yes, double canceled. Next up on the block is Daiji, a gap moe dummy daisy, saying too many people use collect collabs as a crutch for a lack of confidence and ability to create their own content. Occasional collabs are great, but I think it's telling when almost every stream you do is a collab. Cancelled. Oh, and look, it's Naveen, the goblin VTuber, with this goblin succubus saying, just do sh you like. Stop trying to cater to other people. Authenticity is more fun to watch than people being fake. As we can confirm, this goblin VTuber is authentically now cancelled. And look who it is, it's Artsy, straight up saying, just being virtual does doesn't make us part of the same community, but it certainly does make you a part of the cancelled community. Ooh, all right. Here we have Starry, the artist, saying, I'm not 18 plus because I'm a lube tuber. I just don't f***ing like kids in my space. Most importantly, adding, heh heh, lube tuber, luby boobies. And further clarifying, side note, I don't hate kids, love them, gonna have them, just not on my Twitter. But it's too bad that Twitter won't have them as they're now cancelled. While Celio tells Sheep Heart and Variety Street says we gotta stop calling every male VTuber who shows a speck of emotion a bottom. It's mad gross and very weird. Okay, well actually, uh, yeah, uh, Celio, not cancelled. Not cancelled at all. Uh, not cancelled. Yeah, no cancelling on this one. And next up for our not at all biased cancelling, we have Bree, the old account for Bree, a bunny VTuber, also known as the chaotic swear bunny, saying most big streamers didn't stop talking to you because they got big. They just got busy. I'm not even a big streamer and I literally don't have the time to talk to anyone. And it's not because I suddenly got Twitch partner or something. I just literally work 16 hours a day. Well, no worries, Bree and Bree regarding all that work because now you're canceled. Okay, and here we have artist VTuber Gigi. Gigi? Guy? Guy? With Gigi saying, not enough VTubers play Xenoblade Chronicles. Yes, agreed, agreed. That is too far. 100% canceled. And here we have Hero, the level 99 Demon Lord Plus Isekai hero, letting us know too many large creators get away with being terrible people because they're popular. Once an issue arises, everyone bands together, and a week later, they're forgiven once they go, I'm sorry, I'll get help, and it's business as usual. Adding, we don't know if they're actively getting help, we don't know anything without direct proof, but quote, I'll get help, are the three magical words that makes everyone forget and quiet down. But unfortunately, hero will have to get help as they are also now cancelled. And then we have Kadu, cancelled, next. All right, here we have Roy, whose Ray debut is coming up very soon, barista and voice actor, saying the best way to grow as a VTuber is to make content. I get asked a ton about ways to grow or improve as a streamer, but when I ask what kind of content they create, they tell me they're a variety gamer. You need to create something. Even clips or highlights is a starting point. Not half bad advice and also canceled. All right, all right, fine. Let's look at what the niche internet micro celebrity had to say. Uncapped subathons are extremely unhealthy, but we do it because it's the new thing. Stop judging creators who want to make a living doing this. It's crazy we tell people to take breaks, yet tell the same people that consistently and constant content is the only way to grow. Double cancelled. 
Oh, and here is voice actress VTuber Mama Bedlam saying fake quit loggers and fake hate DMs were never funny. All you do is cause anxiety, which leads to more and more people being on high defense, which leads to people being hit and bitter all the time online. You're fostering more discourse addicts. Couldn't agree more. We have absolutely promised never to joke with a fake quit longer ourselves, but now you can make a real twit longer as this mama is canceled. Here we have Twitch partner Miss Jackie with the cat VTuber saying everyone is too scared to actually give their friends and peers proper criticism for their streams when asked for advice. If someone genuinely asks, what can I do to improve my streams and all you get back is I love your streams, that's not helping. Tell them what's wrong. And now we're here to tell this cat VTuber that they are canceled. Now that's highly constructive. And here we have Nat V-Singer and Manager who also happens to be a cat elf VTuber letting us know people tend to expect VTubers to always be cheerful and cutesy when in reality content creators is one of the most mentally draining jobs. We compare ourselves to others, we tear ourselves down and self-doubt a lot and expecting us to hide that for the immersion doesn't help. And we have tried to help by canceling this cat elf but it just hasn't stuck just quite yet. We'll keep trying. We'll keep trying to help and keep trying to cancel. Here we have the silly magical cat Kiri Ari tweeting straining your voice for hours a day to match popular VTuber personality voice when you have zero training and proper vocal techniques is going to hurt you more than it's worth. You don't have to do cute high-pitched anime voice acting to be good at your character. And we can now definitively say this silly magical cat is very good at getting cancelled. Meanwhile, game design VTuber Cable had this very popular tweet saying idol culture has been absurdly detrimental to VTubing on the whole and the popularity of idol S groups has only exacerbated it these past few years. There is no reason for independent VTubers, especially abroad, to be held to similar standards as corporate Japanese VTubers. Adding this, additionally, PNG tubing is the best way to find out if you're into streaming, really want to take content creation seriously, and to show off your design and OC. But there's a major difference between being a PNG tuber and being a VTuber. They're not the same thing. Triple cancelled. Oh, and here's Sky at iSwitch Sky. Adding indie graduations do not have to be a final goodbye like corporate since it isn't the end of a contract unless an indie goes into a corporate VTubing company. It is, of course, up to the person graduating, but I do wish a see you later was normalized more instead of goodbye. And we can say goodbye to Sky. And she just delivered that up easy for me, didn't she? As she is canceled. Okay, let's check in with Catboy Coda coming to us with they won't admit it, but a large portion of bigger indie VTubers got lucky with the algorithm. And also, this is especially true for content creators, not just VTubers, who got famous from TikTok. Well, TikTok, your clock is up as this Catboy is canceled. And very, very, very lastly on the cancel block is Cozy at Cozy Chew, the alpaca VTuber, saying none of the takes anyone is posting are cancelable takes. They're just easy like farms. Nobody thinks followers equals just numbers. Everybody has heard, do what you're passionate in. Don't copy corporate VTubers. Even this take is lukewarm at best, man. Nobody will cancel anyone. Lastly, adding, this is the only true cancelable take, to be honest. This coming from Crab the Emperor saying, I like putting ketchup on my pineapple pizza, and sometimes I microwave my rice because I like it crunchy. Cancelled, cancelled, you're all cancelled. And now back to your regularly scheduled corporate VTuber news that we can never shut up about. As next up, it's Mori Calliope, letting us know the limited edition of my major debut EP has been at number one on CD Japan this entire time. I'm so grateful. Hope you guys like and love it. Adding also, I've been taking three naps a day. Thanks, human body. I get it. I really needed a break. Okay, fine. And retweeting this from Mori Calliope Information, as Spotify Japan has made Kali the cover of their VTuber and Play playlist. A playlist featured on PlayStation and also featuring this strangely Xbox-like controller. While this rapping Reaper was also shown off in this artwork, cozying up to this totally unknown figure, with that work coming from the Mamaloni, who has been dropping on us lots of Hollow Live artwork, including this work of Nina My Inanis, and also Gal Gura with a hint of Amelia Watson in what looks to be a larger piece that may also include Hall Live Indonesia, with Eofi and Risu here, and parts of Muna Hoshinova shown off here. And now you may recall us talking about the VTuber Fest Japan event coming up at the 
the end of this month and featuring more familiar faces than you can shake a stick at. But also returning this year is V Carnival. Now returning as volume two as this giant AR augmented reality event with this event beginning on June 11th and featuring numerous familiar faces shown off here from both agencies and likewise and continuing on to the next day on June 12th as yes your eyes do not deceive you with Callie confirming that's right I'm performing on day two of V Carnival super excited to sing on stage with so many cool artists get tickets below as on day one Niji Sanji's Mito will be both performing and also working as an MC and then the next day Hall of Japan's Sora also performing and working as an MC too further along with Hall of Japan we have Usada Pakora seen here showing off her pocket puss her pocket pussycat saying my cat is too cute and also today busting out a brand new Easter theme for her background. Meanwhile, Iris of Hall Live English, when she is not being solicited for and then teasing cosplay, is here to remind us that her doll, that being Dolorous, has its sale ending on April 11th, saying get your Dolorous now before you lose your one and only hope. And here we have Hall Live Japan's Sakura Miko. As the elite would say, this sale is ending in three days. That being for one of her own merch batches here. And yes, once again, we simply cannot believe that this is a real photo. And what also seems to be real is this footage from Ray 35 Lim giving us a look at the back rooms here. As we also got this IRL photo of Miko in front of this poster for Bubble, filmed to be released in May, as the style was also joined by Natsuhiro Matsuri and the freshly bathed Sakamata Chloe, saying I was invited by Warner Brothers to preview Bubble, loving the ending music and all also saying the illustration is great. I want to go back to see it again. And here we are again with Hall Live Error, with this animated video being the conclusion to the classic art for this summer's upcoming horror game from Hall Live. As also sometime coming out from Hall Live is Hollow Earth, now completed with their lobby verification tests, and also alerting us to this that their main website has been reported on numerous platforms as a phishing site, saying of course that is not the case, and they are working to resolve the issue. Cancelled. Yesterday, we also showed off half of Hydro's collection, as Hydration Night is here once again with even more VHS tapes, this time of the Hollow Myth debuts, even going so far to give us an Iris version as well. And well, 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 it's Niji Sanji working their way to 1 million followers on Twitter, and also coming to us today with this 3D debut, that being for Aki Suzuya, whose official bio on the Niji Sanji Japan website reads as a third year junior high school student, a boy who looks completely like a girl. He is aware of his girlish appearance and loves to deceive those around him. He has a black hearted personality. However, he is cute, so everything is forgivable. And as teasing as this talent can be, it was the talent themselves that were mostly the ones getting teased during this 3D debut. Also coming by way of Niji Sanji is this brand new Niji Sanji tech gadget line, saying these items can be used for various everyday situations, including pouches and phone stands. As lastly, also on sale is Lumi, a wolf VTuber from Finland. Oh, woo. As not only is she sporting a slightly different look from time to time as seen here, but once again is on sale, or should we say the Lumi collection is on sale with Uwu Market, with these goods launching today, as this wolf would go on to ask for you to check it out very, very kindly. And now for more VTuber news, we turn to our co-host, Lady. Thanks, false. Pearl the Otter is shown here in this scab with radioactive VTuber Vivi showing off their pair of finger guns while also celebrating that they have now been invited to the Twitch partner program. The artist Froggy Lock decides to show us all a sneak peek at their 3.0 live 2G model, showcasing a very cool and clean new design with the same iconic eyes. Screenshotted and shared by Benjamin Oscar, we have a very wide Chaka that debuted earlier this week. Credits to the art and rigging by Froggy. Orca VTuber Shy Lily tweeting out, Would you want me as your Pokemon? This form evolving from Egg, which shares a similar form to whatever this is. Cute! And Shy Lily would tweet out, Call me Miss Steel, your girl. A big congratulations also goes out to Shy Lily, who has now reached 300k on TikTok. 
Next up, Blood Queen horror VTuber Lena Lazar announces her limited edition Hemogoblin plushie in collaboration with Plushie World. Now on sale for a limited time, a little Hemogoblin helper that can also be seen right here as a cute little backpack accessory. Waifu Baby shares out this schedule, saying Cyber Pools, a YouTube stream and collab adventure with Lena Lazar. Let's have some fun! While also sharing this with us, saying hello sir, could I interest you on 50% or more off your car insurance? And that is all for this episode. As always, please feel free to like, comment, and subscribe below. Join our Discord for other VTuber news. We record live on Twitch, and we'll have more things VTubers say for you soon.